UFC Heavyweight Showdown. DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish an opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Tamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Fighting of Lake Forest, California, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's like see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Well, missed on that one. Tags him with the left. That's a big strike right there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big kick lands. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch his defense and beat you up when the fight's there. Looking for that left hand, not there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Punches blocked. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. 
understand, after you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice leg kick lands. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. 15 seconds. Also, the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Wait, it looks like screen here. Yeah. Uh, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Round two underway. Big and kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Jab. Lands another huge kick and again. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Straight right hand, no good. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big kick. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. Wow, actually got the takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Close guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. A real sneaky head kick. Oh, there. There. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect what a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, big left hook there. Wow. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Ten seconds remain in round two. Oh! What a round! Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that.
It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Now to go to decide this one. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Able to check the high kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, the guy has tremendous hand speed. They're going at it now. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize him coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we look at the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored the contest for 928. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin!